Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tutelage, a guide to learner. Here, this is Tripona. I hope all of you are doing good. Today, we are going to discuss one of the most interesting topic from the paper to education that is Fiedler contingency model. It includes in the educational management and administration and the subtopic of the unit that is leadership in the educational administration and we all know that there are five leadership style model the first one is managerial grid model second one is Fiedler contingency model third one is tri-dimensional model fourth one is Hersey and uh, Blanchard model and the last one that is leader member exchange theory but today we will discuss the only the second leadership model that is Fiedler contingency model but before going to the main discussion of the uh, theory at first we have to know what do you mean by a leadership we have already uh, discussed that the meaning of leadership in detail in my last session so if you have missed my that session just go and check uh, my uh, previous session and the previous session link is available in my first comment and my description box so what do you mean by a leadership so basically leadership refers to the action of leading a group involved in the educational process or the ability to do this so basically it is a social process okay uh, in which an individual or group influences behavior towards a shared goal and educational leadership involves working with and guiding teachers towards educational processes in the every institutions like elementary secondary post-secondary institutions i think the meaning of leadership is clear to everyone if you like my video so please do one like share and comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful session so let's start the session so today's topic is Fiedler's contingency model. The theory was developed by uh, Austrian psychologist Professor Fred Fiedler in 1960s. Okay, and he studied personality and characteristics of the leaders. And he carried out research on the relationship that means contingency between effectiveness of the leadership styles and situation okay it denotes the relationship between effectiveness of the leadership style and the situation so Fred Fiedler believed the right leader must be chosen for each job based on their skill and the requirement of the situation so basically this model is pretty simple among all the uh, models and it has two factors the first one is leadership style and the second one is situational favorableness okay so let's take a closer look at how the model breaks down this factor and the first a uh, factor that is leadership style and he developed the least preferred worker scale and now going to the meaning of the LPC scale so basically LPC scale refers to the leaders are asked about the person with whom they least like to work so high LPC score is basically refers to the relationship or pupil oriented leader so the more positively you rate your LPC scale on a variety of different criteria the more relationship oriented or a uh, pupil oriented you are on the other hand the least favorably you rate your lpc scale on a variety of a same criteria the more task oriented you are so if you are a high lpc leader it refers to a relationship or pupil oriented leader on the other hand if you are a low lpc leader so you are a task oriented leader so now going to the next thing what do you mean by a relationship oriented leader so basically relationship oriented leaders are great at building relationship facilitating team synergy managing interpersonal conflict okay on the other hand task oriented leaders tend to be skilled at organizing projects and teams to accomplish tasks efficiently and effectively so i think this is clear what do you mean by a leadership style so what is the lpc skill and uh, leadership uh, sorry the relationship 
and uh, task oriented leader now going to the second factor that is situational favorableness so basically it is assessing the situation at hand the favorability of a situation depends on how much influence and power you have as a leader and it is determined by three variables the first one is relationship leader and group relationship second one is uh, nature of the task or uh, and the third one that is power of the leader so now going to the relationship between group and leaders uh, the first uh, variables so the first factor relationship between group and leaders is all about trust issue okay when leader fully trust his employees they will adopt a loyal and cooperative attitude they prove themselves in favor of company okay uh, so uh, for example we can say does your students trust you as a teacher in the classroom the more they do there is a high degree of teacher student relationship and the more favorable the situation is i think uh, the situation i think the relationship between teacher and student or leader or uh, group member that is clear to everyone now going to the second factor or second variable sorry that is nature of the task so uh, basically uh, the require less supervision than that task have to be adjusted and explained time so it indicates basically clarity of the task which is required okay so higher task structure results in a more favorable situation now going to the third uh, variable that is power of the leader and it is related to the authority so basically the power of the leader is determined by the hierarchical position his knowledge competencies on others and he will be decisive for his interaction with his employees and the situation okay so you have power over your team so if you can uh, reward them punish or tell them what to do so your position power is high and it makes a favorable situation i think the three variables are clear to everyone and now going to the example of the fiedler's contingency model for example we can say as a, a newly hired man co-manager at a startup company so imagine you have just been hired as a uh many co-manager of a of the company so the team of 12 has been working together for a little over a year you were brought on by the existing manager to help improve the company's strategy but the uh, leader member relation the first variable are poor because as a new manager brought into an already tight knit team so there is a bound to be a some friction and distrust okay so there is a distrust the issue of distrust so that's why leader member relation relationship between leader and member are poor now going to the next one that is a uh, task structure or the nature of the uh, task so task structure is low because the company is still a startup company you were hired for the improving the company's strategy and everyone helps out with everything so that's why task structure or nature of the task is low and now going to the third variable and that is power of the leader and there is another manager with more authority who could veto your uh, your decision also so the situation the scenario calls for a uh, task oriented leader and it denotes a unfavorable situation uh, for a newly hired co-manager at a startup company i think uh, the fiedler contingency model concept is clear to everyone so i think this is clear what do you mean by a, a situational uh, favorableness and a leadership style so basically we have already told low lpc score leaders derive the satisfaction from performance of task attainment of objectives and high lpc score leaders derives most satisfaction from the interpersonal relationship and evaluate their least preferred workers in favorable items so leaders effectiveness is determined by the interaction between leaders style of behavior and favorableness of situational factors and two are the most important factors of this model i think this is clear to everyone and now going to the 
chart and here we can see uh, the chart of the Fiedler's contingency model. So here we can see three factors. The first one is relationship between leader and group, uh, the task structure and the third one that is leader position power. So when a leader group relationship is good and the nature of the work is structured, leader position power is strong. So what type of leadership style is this? This is the low LPC or task oriented. Now going to the second one that is when relationship uh, between leader and group is good but the task structure is unstructured, leader position power is weak and strong all in all the cases the leadership styles indicates low LPC or task oriented leader. And now going to the fourth one that is when relationship between leader and group is good but the work structure world nature is unstructured and the leader position power is weak so uh, it indicates high lpc or pupil oriented or relationship oriented leader now going to the next one when relationship between leader and group is poor but the work structure or work nature is structured and unstructured both and leader position power is strong and weak both so what kind of leadership is this so the leadership styles indicates the low lpc task oriented leader so the chart is clear to everyone so i think the fiedler contingency model is clear to everyone now going to some advantage and disadvantage of this model at first we have to discuss some advantage of this model so the first advantage is if it is basically it provides a rule of thumb to determine which leader is best for a job it encourages leaders to practice self-awareness and it is very easy to calculate and understand now going to some disadvantages the fiedler contingency model is overly rigid and theoretical it doesn't explain what leaders who fall in the middle range of the LPC test should do. And the third one that is self-assessment in the LPC scale is not reliable test. Okay. And the last disadvantage is it can be discouraging to leaders who are already effective. I think advantage and disadvantages are clear to everyone. So learner, we are done for the today's session. If you like my video, so please do one like, share and comment. And please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful session. I think that session would be a very, very important session to everyone. I will come again with a new topic, new session. Till then, stay tuned. Happy learning. Keep commenting. Thank you to all of you.